we're just people. This is not in a theme here. Hi guys, it's Ramona Backman here. In this episode, me and my fellow Team Visa teammate Ramona will be talking about football while taking on an rather unusual challenge. We're gonna make France's favorite sweets, the macaroons. I don't know what we got ourselves into, Nadia, but these are definitely not easy to make. No, no, no. I got this. Okay, I'm gonna order the macaroons kit. It's gonna be the white chocolate and raspberry macaroon. I'm gonna use my visa. Check out. Done. And also, I'm gonna send the link to Nadia. Macaroon oh, kit is here. The only thing I've ever baked in my life is a pancake and I don't think that counts as baking so I'm really excited for this but on the other hand how hard can it be huh I'm still gonna whoop her ass hi mate how are you hi Romy <laughs> finally here you made it <laughs> how are you doing yeah good 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 I'm excited for this I'm not gonna lie and a bit scared how are you <laughs> this is yeah I don't know I don't know about this I'm usually quite confident in a lot of things but baking is not one of my strengths yeah let's get this going what's your favorite thing about playing and living in France you know what honestly I think like we're kind of similar when it comes to this you know you've been in England I was in England and then moved to Paris I really like so far, I've been liking the team because the the way we play, it suits my style. You know, it's a bit not so rigid uh, as it can be sometimes. Um, and also, yeah. obviously, Paris is like, you know, it's a bit sad because since you've been here, it's been COVID and you haven't really experienced anything. But before COVID, the city is amazing. There's so much to discover and, and I love the weather. It's always like it was is nicer than Denmark and England. What do you think? Are we going to get the league title this year? Um, well, it looks quite good, right? We're it looks well really, so good, really good. <laughs> Can you imagine um, this? It's crazy, huh? Like, I feel like we've done so well so far. And um, the team has, has looked so focused. I feel like we, like, even though we play, like, teams that are on the bottom of the league, we still looks so focused and concentrated and we like we get the the games done so professionally like we yeah. re we look really hungry when we play like yeah. three four goals is not enough we want to get the fifth we want we want to get the sixth goal yeah um, so honestly i do feel like uh, we deserve it um, yeah i agree fully agree and also for me it's crazy you know because it's after what 11 12 years that PSG might, I mean, I'm not going to jinx it, you know, that we might go in and win the league. So that's going to be yeah. historic. Romy, can you see, can I see yours? Damn, bro. Bro, what's happening with yours? It's supposed to look like this. <laughs> I'm just saying. What? I'm just saying. What did you put in? What did you put in? <laughs> you have to keep blending, I guess. I should help you this much. So, Nadi, how have you found uh, the Champions League this year? Because, uh, like, Lyon and Wolfsburg both knocked out. Can you believe it? Uh, actually, I can't believe it. Because we, <laughs> we were the one that knocked Lyon out. But no, you know, I think it's... <laughs> I think it's been really amazing to see. You know, I think this is something that I've seen the, over the last couple of years. That, you know, the, the teams are so strong and anyone can win and, like, beat anyone. Yeah. And then, and, and, you know, and obviously... The games has been so tight. I've been watching also the other teams, uh, Barcelona, Man City, Chelsea, Bayern. You know, it's 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 been it's been pretty awesome to watch because it's been some tight games, intense games. You know, with a lot yeah. of drama, a lot of action. I feel like the level is getting so much better from yeah. like the top teams. So like, yeah, I feel like everyone can beat anyone, and <sighs> it's more excited actually. So now you know that we are in final stages of the season, very important final uh, stages. Do you feel the pressure? And if you feel it, how do you, how do you tackle it? You know, how do you cope with it? As closer to the end you come, the more pressure you feel. But I feel like, I don't know. I've been in this situation quite often, many times before. And to be honest, I don't feel so much pressure. Or like, maybe I can handle it quite well. I mean, obviously, you know, 
<laughs> being in the zone all the time, sometimes it can get tiring. You know, what do you do to kind of, I guess, take your mind off of football? Because I feel, I guess that's important. And what do you do? Yeah, sure. I mean, not baking. Are you sure? <laughs> well, are you sure? Because I, I, I thought you were, you were doing great. I thought you've done this hundred of times. <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, what a shocker. <laughs> Yours is 44. 43. Mine is on 80, 84. Okay, wait, I put it up a little bit. <laughs> My sugar is going so fast. Ooh, 87. Oh, Rami. I know you've you've obviously, you know, won a lot of stuff. But winning winning the league here or winning the Champions League, where would you rank these? Like I mean that's that's a tough question because I haven't won any of these titles. Um, I have won the league, but not in France. Yeah. And also, I've been in the Champions League final three times, and I've lost three times. <laughs> so You've lost really it three bad. times. Yeah. Against Lyon. Um, Frankfurt and Lyon oh, twice. I remember the Frankfurt one. You know what? Because I think we that's when we you were in church, you know. I think we lost to you guys in quarter. Yes, quarter exactly. Go to exactly. The same yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I remember that game. Um, so I don't know. You know, that's a hard question. But to be honest, my goal has always been: I really want to win the Champions League. Like, I mean, I think as a player, that's probably probably one of the biggest trophies you can you can win. And the being in the League? final, yes, the Champions League one. Being in the final, losing three times. Um. Makes me want to win it even more, obviously. Yeah, I get it. Of all the stuff, macaroons. We could have, we could have do a banana, banana, banana bread, pancakes. I could do pancakes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, mine is not ready yet. Like obviously, you've played in a lot of different leagues, you know, from Sweden, US, England, to now in France. How do you feel like, you know, these countries, these leagues, these experiences have shaped you as a person and as a player? Um, you know, I feel like obviously it has been some great experiences um, through my career. Um, yeah. not, not every experience has been perfect, but even I do like uh, also the experiences that maybe you don't expect, you know, like when it's not going as you have planned, when it's not going your way, that's when you learn the most. And I actually appreciate all of the experience experiences I've made. Yeah. Um, and I do like getting out of my comfort zone, uh, obviously, because I've been yeah playing in a lot of different leagues and for different clubs. And I don't know, it just I just feel like it makes you it makes you stronger. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which which country has been like your favorite? First. Living, um, I would probably say, who I really liked Sweden, especially yeah. the south part of Sweden, because I don't know, Malmo is a really nice city. Um, yeah, it has a, true. it has the sea. It has a big city like Copenhagen, twenty minutes away. Uh, I really sure. like the the people there. Um. So I would probably say Sweden, even though if it's quite cold in the winter, and I'm oh, not wow. really the person who likes cold. Uh, also like France now, but as I said, I haven't seen so much of Paris. Um, but that can change, obviously. So what was the toughest thing about playing somewhere new for the first time for you? Uh, honestly, I don't really feel there's like tough stuff. You know, I think it's a bit hard to get settled because there's so much like moving and you know figuring out how everything works i think that yeah. part is tough but for me everything like around like getting to new countries you know I, I really love the experience and i feel like you know it gives you opportunity to learn about the culture get to know like new people you know so for me i wouldn't say i mean i won't say it's tough it's you know but the challenge part is the part that i like it's the one okay. because i know that's is something that I don't know. That that's why it makes it challenging. But then I have the opportunity to learn about it. So, but yeah, I feel always usually it's more about you know like 
the logistics it's like oh my phone is now working my internet is now working you know that yeah. stuff is annoying that's and it really takes all the time you know and you're a new yeah. country i think that's sometimes but also the language feel, but you speak like how many languages nine yeah enough <laughs> so that hasn't been a problem that's so not far. your problem but <laughs> <laughs> yeah how's your french going so far my french uh yeah yeah Je, je yeah. peux parler français un peu. Oh, look at you. That's good, that's good. That's good. Well done, you. So, knowing with everything that you know now, what would your advice be for, you know, younger players who have dreams of playing abroad, you know, experiencing other yeah. leagues? Well, for me, like, I've been leaving my country when I was really young. And... I can say it has only been positive for me. Um, stepping out of your comfort zone and can really develop you as a person, but also as a football player. So for me, I think it's, first of all, it's important that you really want it. You know, you need to like, it needs to be your kind of dream. And yeah. you, you need to enjoy, enjoy the, the yeah. road and want to get to know like different cultures and you have to be you have to be open yeah open. is it jackie jackie seeing any both. of your neighbors oh my it's god both. your dogs it's are crazy <laughs> oh my god how's yours looking can i see i think if you yours and mine's added together i think would have to be the perfect macaroon because mine is a bit liquidy and you're really dry yes yeah. <laughs> bro <laughs> next time we're gonna do this together we should do it together for sure you remember when we were playing against each other in the wsl when you were at city and i was at chelsea yeah i remember i remember yeah that was that's some yeah. sick, sick game you know what i've i've played you I, I've played national team you. National, national team, team we played we played more times against each other, I think. Yeah, national team we played against you all the time. I played against you when you were in Tursor for the Champions oh, yeah. League. Yeah, twice, oh, yeah. I guess, for the quarterfinals. And then yeah. the Chelsea a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. My second game, I guess, was against Chelsea. And my second goal in for City. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of I'm sorry. Yeah, I have to that. Of course you have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we're playing together for a PSG, um, how do you think? How do you think like things have developed or changed in the women's game? Uh, you know, I think over the past decades, it's been just like going one way, and that's up. Uh, you know, I think the level of the game has increased tremendously. Yeah. And, and you know, you can you always can see that obviously when you're in it, it's hard to see, but I think because the progress happens like slowly. But if, yeah. w the way I look at it is the big tournaments, you know, Euros, World Cup, the level increases every time. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and you know, also the media, and you all you feel this, you know, on your body, the media around it, you know, the money, everything is everything's improving. And I, I love it. Of course, it's not the level and you know, the, and the area and the target where we want to be at. But, but you know, slowly but surely has, yeah, improved a lot. Um, Going the right direction, I would say, right? Exactly, a right path, but not yet there. Not there yet. Oh my God, mine is literally water. I can't tell you how this looks. It looks like when Louis goes for a poo. Rami, 10 minutes. Sure. While we're waiting for these babies, <laughs> bad boys to be done, perfect macaroons and actually it's really stressful um it is. let's talk about let's talk about you know uh our international goals i think together we scored 88 goals which one has been your favorite Ooh. well it's hard to choose one but i would probably have to say uh my first goal at the world cup and it was also it wasn't just one, it was three goals. So I scored a hat trick uh, that game. So okay. show off. Come but on. obviously, the <laughs> I was like, one goal. <laughs> no, let me talk about the three goals I scored. <laughs> not one, not two, but three. Okay, no, go obviously, 
<laughs> Obviously, it's special to score at the World Cup for your country. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, and it, yeah, it really made it even more special to score a hat trick. So, for you, having played all over the world, uh, different countries, um, how do you compare the clubs, like playing for the club and playing for the national team? Like, what's more important for you? So for me, it's I don't know if if I can say oh one is better than the other because it's 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 so hard to choose uh, and and so in that term I would say yeah both great experiences and 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 I always just feel I don't know I'm grateful I'm like thank you God <laughs> for letting me play. <laughs> what is your proudest moment for the national team? Uh, one of I think we have a couple. You know, obviously I think I was really proud to play the first my first game. It was against the US. That was really a proud big moment, but I think one of one of my proudest moments was in last year's Euros against Germany, just because Germany was like you know this superpower that haven't lost in 23 years in in Euro like you know yeah. European Championship um, situations and 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 we were these underdogs and and yeah and we won the game you know in the quarterfinals and I I was so touched. I remember almost. I actually did cry after the interview, and I hate crying in public. And and then they asked me, and they're like, "Why?" I was like, "I don't know." Yeah. Like you know, when you're like crying because you're happy, yeah. and yeah. because you kind of overcame something. I yeah. thought that was like very, very a really like sick moment, and also. I mean, I, I remember watching this game, and it was it was big for you guys. I was cheering for you guys actually because I feel like oh, you deserved you it. Oh, you did! I love you. And also <laughs> crying. Actually, I just cried when we qualified for the for the Euros as well. I've never cried when I was happy before, but it yeah. just, I don't know. You can't stop it, right? Sometimes it's so happy. weird. I mean, yeah. I get it. You cry if you're like really upset and losing angry, yeah. and but like, I yeah, same like bawling your eyes out. That's sick. Yeah. I sh- I need to. Was it an interview? No, it wasn't an interview. It was oh, just okay, like okay. the the penalties, you know, and we finally won. Yeah. So yeah. Sick. Ah, oh, that's pretty amazing. We have a minute left. Let's check out how our macros are coming oh, yeah. along. Amazing. Okay, not really amazing, amazing, but actually, I'm surprised. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god! I just tasted one of mine. It actually tastes sick. It's time to take the macaroons out. <laughs> oh my god. Romy, look at this. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I just need the filling. That is a macaroon! I want to see your mind. <laughs> what is that? Why does it look like poo? Oh my god. They definitely taste better than they look. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm in shock. We actually made macaroons. Comment below and tell us who you think won. Romy's amazing shaped macaroons or mine ones. Well guys, the rest of you, thank you so much for being here. And remember to follow, comment, subscribe. Peace. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.